Uh, good morning, everybody. Uh, welcome to our lesson today, our mathematics lesson. <coughs> uh, remember, in our last lesson or previous lesson, uh, we did uh, whereby we were changing kilometer bar, meter per second into kilometer per hour and kilometer per hour into meter per second, whereby we introduce a short formula. We say when you are changing uh, meter per second into kilometer per hour, you say 5 out of 18. And then when you are changing meter, kilometer per hour to meter per second, is the vice versa, you make that formula reciprocal. Uh, today we shall be looking speed, time, and distance now. Uh, whereby you will be given uh, speed and distance, and then you are told to find time, or you will be given uh, time and distance, then someone will tell you to find the speed. So we shall be doing on that. Uh, here there is a question, you are told a motorist travel, travels 450 kilometers, Uh, you are told a motorist travels for 50 kilometers in five hours. In five hours, what is his speed in meter per second? What is his speed in meters per second? What is his speed in meters per second? So, uh, it's the same thing we did the other day. Uh, you are told uh, we are given uh, distance and we have time. We have to get now uh, the speed now. Uh, how do we get now uh, the speed? Uh, speed is equal to uh, distance of a time taken. So I am given the distance. Distance is 450 kilometer. I have time. Time is five hours. Then I am lacking the speed now. Let us get the speed. So speed is equal to the formula. Speed is equal to distance of a time taken. Speed is equal to distance of a time taken. The distance is 450 kilometer. Of a time taken, five hours. Uh, five hours. Then by we say by five one by five nine zero. So here you will get 90 kilometer of hour per hour. 90 kilometer per hour. You are told to change in meters per second now. So we say now meters per second. Our formula was remember 90 multiplied by 5 out of 18 that was our formula by 9 2 by 9 10 by 2 1 by 2 5 5 times 5 25 meters per second that is the answer so the first thing you do you list what you have i have the distance the time i'm lacking the speed speed is equal to distance of a time taken distance is 450 kilometer of the time taken five hours by five one by five ninety so you will get 90 kilometer per hour but the question is asking in meters per second now so you say 90 multiplied by five out of 18 you change to meters per second times five of 18 was our short formula so by nine two by nine ten by two one by two five five times five 25 meters per second then there's also another question here you are told uh, Kamau drove from Naikuru to Nairobi Kamau drove Kamau drove Kamau drove Kamau drove from Nakuru to Nairobi Kamau drove from Nakuru to Nairobi a distance of 150 kilometer a distance of 150 kilometer a distance of 150 kilometer at an average speed of 60 kilometer per hour at an average speed at an average speed at an average speed of 60 kilometer per hour at an average speed of 60 kilometer per hour then the question asking how long does his journey take how long does his journey take how long does his journey how long does his journey take how long does his journey take now uh, you are told Kamau drove from Nakuru to Nairobi a distance. So you list what we have. Distance. We have the distance. The distance is 150 kilometer. Uh -huh. What else? 
Uh, average speed, speed. Now, they've mentioned the word speed. Speed is, uh, you are told, uh, speed is 60 kilometer per hour. The speed is 60 kilometer per hour. Then you are told how long. If you hear how long, that is time. They're asking the time. So we are lacking the time. Time question mark. So how do we get time? So time is equal to the formula. Time is equal to distance or for speed. Time is equal to the distance or for the speed. The distance here is 150 kilometer or for the speed 60 kilometer per hour distance of a speed so you cancel you cancel so by by 3 2 by 3 5 so here you will get 5 alpha 2 kilometer kilometer they go together so you'll get 5 alpha 2 hours which is the same as we further simplify how many twos are in 5 2 because of 4 remember 1 1 alpha 2 2 and a half hours that's how we get uh, the time uh, taken for that journey. Uh, Kamau drove from Nakuru to Nairobi at a distance of distance you list, you write. At an average speed of 60 km per hour, 60 km per hour, how long, that is a time, how long, if you hear, they are asking the time. So time question mark, time is equal to time taken distance all for the speed. Distance which is 150 or for the speed which is 60 kilometer per hour. Kilometer per hour, kilometer per hour. Cancel, cancel. By 3, 2, by 3, 5. 5 over 2 hours. Your father simplify. That is 2 and a half hours. That's how we solve that question. Another question uh, here. Uh, you are told. Yeah, you are told. Uh, keep career train 400 meters. Keep career. Keep career. Keep career, rain, keep career, rain 400 meters, keep career, rain 400 meters in 45 seconds. In 45 seconds, in 45 seconds. Uh, then they said, what was his, what was his speed in kilometer per hour? What was his speed in kilometer per hour? What was his speed? in kilometer per hour. What was the speed in kilometer per hour? Keep career rain. 400 meter. That is the distance now. Distance. 400 meters. In 45 seconds. That is time. 45 seconds. So if you hear, if you see meters or kilometers alone, I say that is the distance. If you see in kilometer per hour or meter per second, that is speed. So speed, they're asking now the speed speed question mark so speed is equal to distance all for time taken we said that speed is equal to distance all for the time so the distance here is 400 uh, 400 meters all for 45 uh, seconds all for 45 seconds uh -huh. uh, by by we say now uh, by five by five is nine by five is eight zero so here you will get 80, uh, 80 alpha 9 meters, this is what second, meters per second. But you are told to change into kilometer per hour now. So kilometer per hour, so this is meters per second now. They say the kilometer per hour. So we say 80 alpha 9 multiplied by kilometer per hour, multiplied by 18 alpha 5. That was the formula we were using the other day when we were changing kilometer meter per second to kilometer per hour. By five one, by five uh, sixteen. Sixteen times five thirty carry three eighty. So it is uh, sixteen. Uh -huh. By nine one, by nine two, which is equal to now sixteen times two, you will get thirty thirty two. Uh, kilometers per hour. That is how we get that answer. 32 kilometer per hour. 32 uh, kilometer per hour. Now, the distance Kip Korir covered was 400 meters. The time taken, 45 seconds. Speed, we don't know. 
speed is equal to distance alpha time taken. Distance which is in meter always or in kilometer, 400 alpha 45 seconds. So by, by 5, 9, by 5, 80. So you get 80 alpha 9 meters per second. You are told to change into kilometer per hour times our formula 18 alpha 5. So by 5, 1 by 5, 16. By 9, 1 by 9, 2, 16 times 2, you'll get 32 kilometer per hour. So that is how we find. Let us see another question. You are told a motorist drives for three and a half hours. For three and a half hours. A motorist drives for three and a half hours at 72 kilometer per hour. At 72 kilometer per hour and 288 kilometer and 288 kilometers and 288 kilometers at 64 kilometer per hour at 64 kilometer per hour. Mm -hmm. Then you are told what 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 is her average speed for the whole journey? What is her? What is her average speed? What is her average? What is her average speed in kilometer per hour? What is her average speed uh, in kilometer? No, what is her average speed for the whole journey? What is her average speed for the whole journey? For the whole journey. What is her average speed for the whole for the whole journey? <laughs> a good question. A motorist drives for three and a half hours at 72 kilometer per hour and 288 kilometer at 64 kilometer per hour. What is her average speed for the whole journey? Speed, average speed for the whole journey is equal to now. So speed, how do we get the speed? Speed is equal to total distance, total distance the average speed of the whole journey is equal to total distance or for total time. Or for total time taken. So if you are asked the whole speed of the whole journey, what do you do? You will use the total distance covered or for the total time taken. So now this motorist drives for three and a half hours at 72 kilometer per hour. Up to here now. Let us turn to there. So from here now, he took three and a half hours and he used a speed of 72 kilometer per hour. But what are we lacking? We are lacking the distance now. We don't have the distance. We are given the speed he covered and also the time he took. Let us get now the distance of that bat now. So how do we get the distance now? The first bat. Now the first bat. First one. So let us get the distance. Distance is equal to speed times time. Speed which is now 72 kilometer per hour time is time taken. 72 kilometer per hour time is time taken three and a half hours which is equal to now 72 multiplied by 6 7 alpha 7 alpha 2 so by 2 1 by 2 36 now so we multiply now 36 times uh, 72 36 times 7 36 times 7 42 2 carry 4 7 times 3 21 21 plus 4 25 you get 252, which is equal to now 252 kilometer. That is the distance of the first bat. Mm -hmm. And it's a conjunction. And 288 kilometer at 64 kilometer per hour. This bat, also the other bat, we have the distance and we have the speed. What we are lacking is the time now. The first one we were given time, speed. We were lacking distance. The distance is 252. The other one, he covered 288 kilometers at a speed of 64 kilometers per hour. But we don't know the time he took. Let us get the time for the second bat. Now the second bat, now we, we are lacking the time. So time is equal to distance or speed. The distance of the second bat, which is equal to now 288 or speed now, which is 64, which is 64. Let us divide now. So when we divide now, after dividing, 
uh, this now, you will get four and a half hours. So after getting this, you will get uh, four and a half hours. Four and a half hours. Or you will find to get when you divide, you will get 4.5. 4.5 and 4 and a half is the same. Now this is the time now. The time for the second journey, but is four and a half hours. <laughs> you are not through. They are asking the total speed. The total speed uh, is equals to the total distance. Total speed is equals to we said is the total distance. The total distance, the first part of the journey, our our distance was so we we have the 252 kilometer for the first part we got it, but as the other part we they already they were already given which is 288 kilometer. You added the two. After adding uh, after adding the two, uh, you will get 540. You will get here 540 kilometer. This is the total distance now. This is the total distance. Total time. The first part of the journey, this guy used three and a half hours. Plus, the second part, we got four and a half hours. Plus four and a half hours. Let us get the total time. So four plus three is seven. Half plus half is one. That is now eight now. So we say three plus four, which is equals to seven hours. A half plus a half, which is equals to one hour. When you add, you will get eight hours. That is the total hours we have. So total hours, eight hours. Total distance is this. So the total speed is equal to total distance, which is 540 kilometer alpha, the total time taken alpha eight hours. So here, uh, you will get uh, 540 divided by 8. It goes to, 8 goes to 54. Uh, uh, 8 times 6, 8 times 7, it goes to 7, no, 6 because of 48. 6 because of 48, that is 0. 14 minus 8, that is 6, 60. It goes to now seven times because of 56. Here remains with four. Point there, zero. Goes there, five. Because of 40, zero, zero. So here is 67.5 kilometer per hour. That is how we find that one. 65 kilometer per hour. That is now the speed. That is now at the speed. Or you can say 67.5 or 67 and a half is the same. So in, in an exam, someone uh, might give you in a choice, multiple choices 67 and a half. It's the same as 67.5 kilometer per hour. So I'm repeating, it's a very good question, very examinable. It confuses. A motorist drives for three and a half hours, 72 kilometer. Uh -huh. And the two, 28, and it's a conjunction, eh? it's connecting the sentence. And 288 kilometer at 64 kilometer per hour. What is the average speed for the whole journey? If you hear the average speed for the whole journey, what the formula is, the a total distance. You must get the total distance or for the total time taken. So the first part of the journey, this person, this motorist, used time and the speed. But we are lacking the distance he covered. We must get the distance he covered in the first part of the journey. So distance is equal to speed times time. Speed which is 72 kilometer per hour times three and a half. So you change to receive a improper fraction, you will get seven over two. So by two, one by two, 36, you will get 252 kilometer. The second part, we have the distance, kilometer, we have the speed, we are lacking time. So we must get time, second part. Time is equal to distance or speed. Distance which is 288 or speed which is 64. After simplifying and dividing, you will get four and a half hours. So the time for the second part of the journey. Then I came here, the formula was total distance. Total distance, 252, the distance we got. But as 288, the distance that we already given in the question, that is 540, that is the total distance. Total time, first part of the journey, three and a half. Second part of the journey, four and a half is there, we got it. So you add three plus three, the whole number is seven. Half plus half is one. Add now, seven plus one, total time is eight hours. So 540 alpha 
8. So after dividing now 540 divided by 8, you will get 67 and a half or 67.5 kilometer per hour. That is how we find. Uh, we go to now uh, the last uh, question. We go to now the last question. Uh, you are told a cyclist left town, eh? a cyclist, a cyclist, a cyclist left town, town eh? at toll of, at toll of 15, at toll of 15 a.m., at toll of 15 a.m. for town B, for town, for town B, 50 kilometer, uh, for town B, 50 kilometer, for town B, for town B at 50 kilometer. For town B at 50, for town B 50 kilometer, this is no, at for town B 50 kilometer, for town B 50 kilometer, for town B 50 kilometer away. For town B 50 kilometer away, he cycled at an average speed of 15 kilometer per hour. He cycled at an average speed of 15 kilometer per hour. Then question is asking what time did he reach town B? At what time did he reach? At what time? At what time did he reach? At what time did he reach town? Town B. At what time did he reach town B? At what time did he reach town B? Now a cyclist left town A, town B. Here we have two towns. I always like to draw that bridge. Here we have town A, we have town B. A motorist left, left town A. This garrison left this town at toll of 15. Toll of 15 a.m. Saseta in Usuku. This a.m. For town B, 50 kilometer. That is now the distance between town A to town B. 50 kilometer away. <laughs> So if you are away, that's the distance between the two towns, away. So he cycled at an average speed of 15 km per hour. So the speed here, this guy, the speed he has used is 15 km per hour. That is the speed. At what time did he reach town B? At what time did he reach? They are asking arrival time. At what time will he arrive? The time he arrived at town B. So how do we get now arrival time? So arrival time, we have learned that one, is equals to departure time plus time taken. That's how we get. So arrival time is equals to departure time plus time taken. So now departure time we have left starting time it's a departure time but as the time taken we don't have the time taken we must get the time time is equals to distance of a speed so time time is equals to distance of a speed distance now which is now 50 kilometer of a speed of a 15 kilometer per hour so by 5 3 by 5 10 so here you will get a kilometer kilometer they go together so you'll get 10 of a 3 hours 10 or for three hours we further simplify how many trees are in 10 three because of nine remember one a third so it is three and a third hours three and a third hours i always say you change the fraction into hours when you want to change the fraction into hours you say time is 60. so three and a third multiplied by 60 now by three one by three 20. so here you will get three hours and 20 minutes you'll get three hours and 20 minutes now that is now the time taken now they're asking now arrival time arrival time is equals to departure time departure time is total 15. total 15 means midnight is 0, 0, 0015 so total 15 midnight is 0, 0015 a.m. plus three hours and 20 minutes so it is five it is three that is three a.m. 3.35 a.m. So, or you can say total of plus 3, you'll get 15.35 minus total of hours, you'll get 3.35 a.m. So, midnight, 0, 0. So, that is how we do. So, if you are total of midnight, that's a.m. is 0, 0 or 0, 15 uh, a.m.